Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you love painting cityscapes but struggle with drawing your buildings and people in perspective, then this video is for you. I will explain the basics of one point perspective and together we will draw this sketch of a Barcelona street in Gothic quarters and I think it perfectly illustrates the one point perspective. Okay, let's get started. We are starting the single point perspective by drawing the horizon line. In drawing, the horizon line is at your eye height and it, you can have it really high up for a dramatic effect. You can have it lower down. The important thing is not to place it right in the middle because it would divide the sheet into two equal parts and make it look not as interesting. And then we draw the vanishing points. So the vanishing point is where all the lines lead. So if we had a building here, it would gradually diminish in size until it turns into a point. Apart from decreasing in their height, they also decrease in the width. So if the first building was this wide, the next building of exact same size would seem slightly narrower and so forth. So that's how we create an illusion of perspective. Now let's talk about people. As we said, the horizon line is at your eye level. So all of the people in your sketch, their eyes would be at the same eye level. If they're standing, everyone is approximately the same height. And if we wanted to draw someone further away at the same line, standing at the same line, their eye height would also be on the horizon line. So they would decrease in size from their feet. If you wanted to draw someone closer to us, you wouldn't even see their feet, but their eyes are still on the same level. Of course, if it's a child, they would be much lower. And if it was someone sitting at a cafe or something, at a table, their eye level would also be lower than the person standing, of course. Everything follows this single point perspective. So if you have windows on your buildings and they are roughly on the same level, they would also follow all of their edges, follow perspective, and the windows closer to us would be wider, seem wider, and the further away they go, the narrower they look. And same thing with the clouds, even though they are sort of an irregular shape, but the clouds closer to us, we can see their volume and they're much bigger. And as they go further into the distance, they get smaller and smaller and uh, they look flatter and flatter. Usually I don't show my drawing process, but in this case, I think it's the most important uh, part here to understand the perspective. I drew the horizon line or the line of the eye level and then found uh, the vanishing point. In this case, it's gonna be actually hidden. It is blocked by another building here, but still uh, you wanna put it down even if at the end you won't see it. And basically I'm connecting all the edges of the buildings, uh, railings, windows, balconies, all of these uh, complex shapes, a multitude of shapes, but they all lead to the vanishing point. You see me using a ruler sometimes to just draw a guideline. I don't recommend always using a ruler, but sometimes when the angles are so sharp, our human eye actually tends to flatten them. So sometimes I just draw a faint guideline to make sure I am uh, drawing the lines as they are. And I've placed the people as well, making sure that their heads are approximately at the horizon line. Filling in with the middle value, I'm trying to connect most of the shapes that are of the similar value. In this case, it's uh, quite simple because most of the painting here is filled with the middle value. The focal point in this painting is the complex uh, building facade. So there are many 
small shapes, uh, balconies, windows, shadows. It's quite an interesting task to try and indicate them without drawing every single one of them, but to just give impression of them still a realistic one and uh, following perspective rules of course helps with that. Now uh, showing some uh, darker accents, adding depth to the shadows and uh, putting down some details. Not many as this is a small sketch but just uh, enough And I'm also drawing some of the pavement lines and this is helpful as well to give a sense of perspective. Some of the paving stones that are closer to us are bigger than the ones that go further back. So that's another helpful tip to give an illusion of depth. And that's it for this sketch. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please like and subscribe and until next time, bye bye.